On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to QuickBooks Payments, which now offers a revenue share program for pro advisors, in addition to your pro advisor discount. Here's what to expect. You'll see the update in action, then hear from pro advisors Dan Luthi and Astra Daniela Galvez. Hey, pro advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. You can now earn 20% net revenue for three years on your client's processing fees when you sign them up for QuickBooks payments. This is in addition to your ProAdvisor discount of up to 25% off your processing fees. Pretty sweet. So now for the fast facts. This revenue share program will be available to all pro advisors by late fall of 2024. You can access it from within QuickBooks Online Accountant by visiting Settings, then Payments Revenue Share. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let me introduce you to Ashley so you can see this update in action. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you for having me on the show. I am going to walk you through revenue share for payments. All right, so our approach, so what we heard from accountants is most accountants who do not recommend payments today are open to recommending but need an incentive. You guys are have a million things on your plate dealing with all of your clients. You probably have 100 tasks you do a day. So payments is probably not the top... And, top of mind for you guys. So what we did was we created a revenue share program that will help incentivize you guys to help sign up your clients for QuickBooks payments. So settings page under settings, go all the way down payments revenue share. This is what you click on to sign up um, for revenue share. You will get this in product landing page um, and you can have you can learn more if you want to go click on the links. Um, and it has FAQs, it has imagery of the revenue share program, and then benefits of the revenue share program too. Um, and then once you want to sign up, you click the green get started button. These are all your eligible clients. You could see two, you can see five, you can see 20, depending on how many clients you have that have not signed up for payments. They're in the US and um, they are eligible. And so right here, you'll add to revenue share on the right on the actions, and then um, you will click. You can invite one client at a time. So let's get Eric set up. You go to the payments info, and you'll see this landing page. You can copy this link. You can email them. You can send a text message, and you can, you can even send it through Facebook messaging if you want. The link is, is yours to send. Um, the most important thing for you is to um, start a revenue share right here. Okay, so once you have signed up for revenue share yourself, you've been approved, you've sent uh, it to your clients through this page right here, your uh, client will need to send a paid enabled invoice. And so, this will look like this. And then once they send that paid enabled invoice, your client has to pay and it will look like this. And then once you have your clients, you'll go to the active page and you will see all of your clients who are active and see how much they are processing. For you to be able to see how much you're getting through payments revenue share, you click on that button and you'll see all of the amount statuses per month. And you can see right here, everything that you've made um, and you will be getting paid monthly. Um, and this was a brief run through of payments revenue share. Ashley, thank you so much for that demo. We'll now turn to pro advisors, Dan and Astrid for them to weigh in. Dan, Astrid, welcome. Thanks for having me, thanks. Thank you so much, I'm excited to be here. Okay, we're talking about payments and this great new revenue share program but I think it would be helpful for pro advisors to hear from you of, you know, when do you recommend payments to clients? And is there a particular type of client that payments is a best fit for? So Dan, do you mind kicking us off? Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, we have quite a few professional service organizations that we work with and we use QuickBooks invoicing uh, to be able to send out contract agreements or the invoices for those agreements or for reoccurring you know, monthly payments and things along those lines. And QuickBooks payments works really well with that workflow uh, because it allows us to be able to reconcile everything in a single uh, single flow. When payments are received through it, it automatically marks those bill or invoices as paid and then reports in for, for pending for deposits. And so it works very, very seamlessly inside QuickBooks and, and helps us to be able to cut down on time. Um, I like the sound of that. Cutting down on time or getting time back is always nice. Ashford, is that true for you as well? Do you tend to recommend payments to professional services clients or maybe a different client type? Yes, uh, as Dan mentioned, it fits perfectly for professional services or consultants, but also for service-based industries that use QuickBooks as their only platform and payments is certainly one of them because not only are they able to receive their payments on time and faster, and they're able to track how the invoices are being viewed and if the client has seen it so they can see oh, this payment is going to arrive, the client already saw it. So I kind of like that feature and also that link that they're able to attach. So if let's say the client didn't open the invoice for whatever reason, they can view it in any other format and just copy that link and attach it. And it gives that, that ability for them to see it faster and also to receive that payment. And like Dan was saying, it makes the pro advisor's job easier when we're able to see all the steps as we're reconciling the transactions. So it's a wonderful tool. Okay, so Ashford, you read my mind because I was going to ask, how does having clients use payments help you as the pro advisor? So do you mind unpacking that a little bit more? Certainly. So for us, we want things to be done faster and we want to minimize the manual input as we're working with these clients and we reconcile their transactions. So when the payment is received, it's paid directly to that invoice and then deposited into the account so that it's easily reconciled at the end of any certain period. So it is a time saving tool. And now we also get a revenue share from it. So Win-win. Win-win-win. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. Is that true for you as well, Dan? Very much so. Uh, and one of the things that Astrid mentioned before that I think is was is really important for our workflow is the fact that in using invoices and using payments, it shows you how the client is interacting with it or their customers interacting with it as well. And so it cuts down on a lot of the chasing in conversation with clients. Like you can find out if they've actually been able to view it. Sometimes their email, the emails they get from into it go to spam or to junk. And so when those things happen, you can use those quick links to be able to send it in a separate email. And so again, it cuts down on time. It really allows you to be able to be much more flexible with your customer's communication style as well too. Um, and it all comes in the same place. So your payments and, and your invoices are in the same spot um, and customers have better visualization, which I think is one of the most important time savers. Everything all in the same place now, including revenue share. Definitely. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm so glad it gives you time back and that you all have more visibility. So Astra, Dan, thank you so much for being on this episode of In the Know and for sharing these great insights. Definitely. Thank you so much for letting us be here. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. And thank you for watching. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In the Know and leader of Pro Advisor Training and Certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.